Hello and thank you for watching. Today we're going to be doing a project on the old Remington 870 bedside gun. At least it's my bedside gun. Now what we have on here is a Black Hawk Knox stock and foregrip. Now originally when I installed this onto the shotgun I did along with the top rail, the flashlight, and the optic. I originally just wanted the stock. But it seemed like it was $10 to get the stock with the foregrip. And I put the foregrip on anyways because it does aid in racking it back. It's a little bit more ergonomic. And it's a pretty decent looking forehand. But here the other day I got a forehand that I actually want to use. It is the Streamlight TL Racker. Now this is made for the 870. As you can see, it is a thousand lumen flashlight forend. So, comes with the light, the forend, some batteries here. These look like they are the special, let's see what the number is on them. CR123A batteries. A lot of those are used in many different flashlights. So what I'll be doing is stopping this video, looking up a YouTube video on how to switch the four ends out, and then I'll be continuing this video with how well it works. As you can see, I have a Phoenix on here right now. It's a good flashlight, it's a bright flashlight. The strobe button, where is that thing again? There's the strobe button. There's your settings. Of course, you have the tail cap there, which works pretty well when you're holding the shotgun. That's not the problem. But this strobe button right here is a pain to use, and because of the way the Phoenix is set up, it defaults to a regular light. So if I have to want to use a strobe function, I have to mess around with that stupid button. And if you have somebody at gunpoint and you're trying to disorient them, messing around with a button trying to figure out it does not put you in a good position. Now, I will tell you, the stream light does not have a strobe function, but it should be plenty bright to blind anybody that comes into your house at unsuspecting hours. So here's a quick look of how it looks installed with the Nox stock. As you can see, it went together quite smoothly. It's quite meatier than the old one, so now we'll go try it. So here we are moving down a dark house and I'm going to do a quick comparison of the lights. First, what I'm going to turn on is the Phoenix. As you can see, the Phoenix though has a narrower beam, does illuminate quite well. Now we'll kill the Phoenix light and here is the stream light. Much brighter and also a wider beam as well. Now what we'll do next is we'll go outside and see how far it shines. Here we are outside on a nice, dark, starry night. And here is how well the 500 lumen Phoenix illuminates. As such, here's how well, <laughs> holy crap that's bright, here's how well the Streamlight TL Racker illuminates. TL Racker. and the old phoenix. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. You can find Cedar Mill Fine Firearms at cedarmillfirearms.com. You can also find them on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. Thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day.